Greetings from Iowa, where the tall corn grows and where we are known for five very interesting things. One is hogs are more outnumber the people seven to one. We have the crookedest street in the world in Burlington, Iowa, and it is crooked. Uh, not hardly room for one of our cars today. And we have the ice cream capital of the world in Lamar's, Iowa. We are the largest producer of pork, corn, and eggs. And we also have the largest truck stop on I-80 near Walcott, Iowa. I'm here today, or this afternoon, or evening, whatever you're listening to me, uh, to share on uh, something about Feed My Sheep. Sister Terry asked me to do that, so here I am. What is the first thing you think about when you hear the word sheep? I think of a soft, woolly, white animal with black ears. I've seen some in pastures, but mostly in a county or state fair. But I've not really been up that close to them. Uh, a few years ago, I was in Utah visiting my granddaughter, and it was at the end of October. And they have a festival or celebration where they bring the sheep that are in the mountains down into lower levels because it gets too cold in the mountains for them. It was a huge, huge celebration. They even cleared the street, the main street, and and uh, they had motorcycles and people with staffs and they had their dogs and everything there along the side to make sure that the sheep traveled on the sheep. But when they come, they come through very, very fast. That's a huge commodity for them there. And uh, it was quite interesting. Not only were there herds, different herds of sheep coming through, but of course, everything that pertained to a sheep. They're the shearers uh, and they're the sheep food, people advertising that and and other, other interesting pieces. But you know what? Uh, I don't think I ever saw very many black sheep, and I'm not sure what that meant. I don't know if that's a rare thing or what. But do you ever think that a human is very much like a sheep? Sheep have emotions, fear, anxiety, sadness, and happiness. They are also a highly social animal, just like humans are. They form strong bonds with other sheep and with their masters, with their shepherds and those who take care of them. We see them uh, in the fields, but they never graze alone. Hmm, sounds like a human to me. They grieve when they lose a friend and they have an amazing memory that they can recognize faces that they even uh, remembered seeing 50 years ago. Sheep communicate in, with different sounds and with facial explorations, just like humans do. And they can tell if other sheep or humans are happy or sad or stressed or calm by just reading their facial expressions. Interesting, huh? And if sheep aren't feeling very well, they even go to seek out plants that they can chew on to make them feel better. Hmm. Just like we go and see a doctor, right? Except we don't chew on the plants. They also have um, rectangular pupils, and it's a, so a peripheral vision, so they can see almost 360 degrees. Huh, I wonder if they are just like moms that know what's going on behind their backs. <laughs> so just like humans, they have personalities, some bold and adventurous, and some cautious and shy. It sounds a lot like we are sheep. Who would have thought? But Jesus does call us his sheep. David knew that since he tended sheep in the fields, he knew how to be a shepherd. He knew how and when to move them from field to field, take care of their sores, and how to go after uh, strays. Remember, just like Jesus left the 99 to go after that one? Well, David wrote the Psalm 23, and it reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. 
my cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, sounds like that's how we are taken care of too, right? So the shepherds do carry oil to heal the, the sheep um, when, this, when they find sores on their legs or or the, the bugs are getting to them, getting in their uh, wool and, and, and irritating them. And because when sheep are first born, they are called lambs. Hmm. They're called that until they're at least a year old. We are lambs. We were lambs. Or children once. In John 21, Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me more than these? These was referring to his fishing nets, the boats, the equipment, and even the other disciples. Asking him, Are you going to continue to fish as your livelihood? Or will you follow me? It was an offer to Peter to show importance of personal obedience in his future ministry. Hmm. Hmm. Do you love me more than these? The second time Jesus asked him, do you love me? Tend my lambs. In other words, these are young believers to take charge, oversee, protect, teach, be a friend. Love them. Remember, Peter was not a shepherd, don't took care of any sheep before because he was a fisherman so he didn't know all the particulars but Jesus was telling him here Jesus was talking about his children to tend to his lambs the third time Peter uh, Jesus asked Peter do you love me tend my sheep sheep are older bring them in Take care of them. Nurture them. You know what? That question might have been very important to ask a third time. Sometimes we have to be asked more than once to do something or do you remember something. But Jesus wanted to make sure that Peter understood what he was asking him to do. And the reason for it was for Peter to follow him and to glorify God. The number three is very important, that question number three. Yes, Jesus, yes, Peter denied Jesus three times. And we know that Jonah was three days in the belly of the whale. And Noah had three sons. And three visitors appeared to Abraham. Jesus answered Satan's temptations with three scriptural references. Jesus was in the grave three days and he arose. Jesus asked Peter three times, do you love me? Feed my lambs, feed the babies, encourage the little ones, teach them so they know who I am when they are young. Feed my sheep to encourage them to be a friend, to help them when they are in need. Feed my sheep. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. My sheep need to hear my voice. My sheep need to know where they are going. It was a big call on Peter that changed his life. Jesus affirmed his love to Peter three times. Jesus is affirming his love for you every day. We are the sheep of his pasture. Jesus is the good shepherd. So I'm going to ask you, how are you feeding the lambs? How are you feeding the sheep? Hmm. Does Jesus have to ask you three times? Or are we quick to, to answer? Are we quick to answer? But don't stop feeding the sheep.
Don't stop feeding the lambs. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for being our shepherd, for leading us to those who need green pastures to eat your word and to clean water to drink from of the Holy Spirit. Help us to be quick to say and go where and to whom you tell us to go to, to feed your lambs and to feed your sheep. Thank you for these ladies listening to each one as they share what you have laid on their hearts to share. And I ask the Holy Spirit to bring a new revelation to each lady as they hear from each other what it means to feed my sheep. Continue to bless Ron and Terry as they shepherd this flock and as you multiply the herd. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye.